Hey, how's it going? How's life been for you recently? I just went on vacation with my family to Sayulita, Mexico, and it was very fun. You got to see all the street vendors, you got to see all the Mexican people and all the white people on vacation. It was a good time. But then we made a shocking discovery. There was a pipe burst on the beach of Sayulita. The entire town's poop and pee, and God knows what else, is just spewing into the ocean front. There's not a single warning sign, don't swim, maybe, you know, just kind Nothing. So everybody in the entire town of Sayulita is getting devastatedly ill, including my entire family. We got deleted by norovirus or sapovirus or something. So that was fun. But then, you know, we came back and I had to move out of my house. And while I was moving, packing everything I owned into a U-Haul, several U-Hauls, I got sick again with a different virus and was exploding out both ends. And then I moved here in a small town in the woods. All this to say, Hey guys, I hope you've been well. It's been a while and I'm very tired. I'm tired of being sick. I'm tired of moving around. I just want to be here in my new house and get to work on it. But aside from just giving you guys an update, I have been doing a lot of thinking over the past couple of months because the stress of not posting a video has been really getting to me because that's just the nature of YouTube. If you don't post a video, you will have this constant fear in your mind that you will become irrelevant everybody will just leave and get bored and not watch your stuff anymore. But that hasn't been the main thing on my mind. The main thing on my mind is what the hell do I even talk about, right? When you've had a crazy couple of months and you're moving out of your house and you're doing all this stuff, it's hard to sit down and think and be like, okay, like what do I say to the camera? What's the better idea? But now that I've had a couple weeks to just chill, and decompress and work on my house for a bit, something started to become very apparent to me. And that is that there is a problem with the world right now. There's a problem with self-improvement. There's a problem with people's minds and just being on the internet too much is not just becoming, you know, a growing issue. It's the norm. Like everybody's chronically online. Everybody lives on their phones. It's like half their consciousness lives in cyberspace and the other half is in reality. You know, everybody's attitude towards life and their beliefs and religions and all that, everybody is so wildly different. But if there's one thing that everybody has in common now, it's that they're spending more and more and more and more time watching YouTube videos or Instagram videos looking for answers. They're looking for advice. They're looking for somebody to give them the golden piece of information that will help them feel better day to day, that will help them succeed financially or get a girlfriend or be rich. I, I don't know. You know what people want. You don't need me to tell you that everybody has become a consumer. And what that means is that people are kind of living life on their heels. People sit rather passively waiting for information to hit them and hoping that, you know, when the right information hits them, then they can live life on their toes and do stuff with it. But the issue is that 99% of everything that you could possibly do to actually make substantial progress in your life has nothing to do with sitting there passively. Because when it comes down to it, you have to do things, right? You have to not be reading something or watching something, you actually have to physically propel yourself off of your chair and move things around in space and time. And what that feels like is a completely different feeling than consuming, right? On a nervous system level, on a physiological level, watching a self-improvement video has almost nothing to do with doing things that would improve your life. The sensation that you get when you are writing an essay or when you are building your house or when you're shaping concrete for a pathway in your front yard, I don't know, whatever you have to do in life, the experience of doing that thing feels nothing like watching a self-improvement video. It feels nothing like watching some expert tell you the optimal amount of water to drink. It feels nothing like watching me give you a little pep talk. I'm not gonna stop making these self-improvement videos because it's my job. But I would hope that when you watch content like this, you say, okay, cool, that's a good idea. And then you go in the real world and live your life. You gain experience, you talk to people, you develop relationships, you work hard, you sweat, you help your friend move a sofa up a flight of stairs. So all of this to say, 
if you're feeling kind of stuck in life, if you feel like you haven't made progress in a long time and you're genuinely interested in making substantial progress, then consider the idea that it's not more information that you need. It's actually less information. It's paying attention to the mode you're operating in 99% of the time. Are you picking up a hammer and building a shelf on your wall? Are you moving physically through space and time? Are you constructing things? Or are you physically sitting back waiting for some sort of cyberspace information to tickle your brainstem in such a way that it'll make you somehow get used to being out in the real world physically and doing stuff. So yeah, no judgment here. Why do you think I just moved to a small house on a big property in the woods in a small town surrounded by trees? It's because I was living in suburbia in a row home and that type of lifestyle just breeds a sort of cyberspace internet addiction. So I'm trying to figure out this stuff myself too. So whenever I come up with a cool idea, something that made me go aha, something that I wanna share with you guys, that's why I make videos, right? That's why I've always made videos. They're practically shower thoughts. I think of something kind of cool, something that changed my perspective, and I try to make a compelling video with cool visuals about it so that maybe you can have an aha moment too. Stop in every once in a while. We'll have a chill time. We'll talk about some ideas. Join me in becoming more of an action taker, less of a consumer, start living life on your toes, make doing things your default. Default do. That being said, it is my pleasure to introduce the perfect sponsor for today's video. A big thank you to Headspace for sponsoring this video. As you all know, I had an extremely chaotic month, and I don't really know where I would be right now if I wasn't able to slow my mind down, simplify things, and focus on what matters. Luckily, I was able to do that, and Headspace was a huge factor in contributing to my sanity because Headspace has really become an all-in-one mental health guide. It's not just a meditation and mindfulness app. There are so many different themes to choose from, so many different topics to aid you in whatever life situation you're going through right now. So you can really find what mindfulness or meditation style works for your specific needs in life. My personal favorite thing about Headspace is just how easy it is to jump into a mindfulness session. Even if you only have three or five minutes to spare, it's so easy to just pop in your headphones, hit play and gain some peace and mental clarity that you have probably been craving and you didn't even know it. Or maybe you did know it. So if you want to know what I'm talking about and you want to see how Headspace might be helpful to you, you can try it out completely free for 60 days if you use my link in the description below or if you scan the QR code that you're seeing on screen right now. And let me know in the comments section below what your go-to way to support your mental health is. Once again, to try Headspace out completely free for 60 days, use my link in the description below or scan the QR code. And thanks again to Headspace for sponsoring this video. Guys, if you liked this video and you got something out of it, hit that like button because when you actually hit that like button, the algorithm does wonders. It says, wow, this video must be a good video and I'll recommend it to more people. If you're lurking here, consider subscribing and checking out the merch, which is in stock for a limited time. You know, it was out of stock for months and months and months and months and months, but it's back in stock for a limited time. Everybody loves their hoodie. They're extremely comfortable. Everyone I know who's bought one wears it all the time. And there's shirts too. People love the shirts. People just love the merch. So pick it up before it's gone again. But other than that, guys, I'm stoked to be making content again in my brand new space. Thank you as always for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.